that is melted. This panel uh, does not generate uh, any electricity anymore. 177 watts. That is all coming from that uh, Dokio folding solar panel. Let's unbox this Dokio panel. And there she is. Came packaged extremely well. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 bus bars per solar cell. Of course, up here on the top, we've got this little handle. We've got these little clasps right here that uh, allow it to open. All right, inside here, we've got a couple of goodies. So we've got uh, some alligator clamps. We've got a XT60 pigtail adapter here. So we've got a couple of these corner protecting pieces. Got a rack of a bunch of different sizes of barrel plugs. And we've got a male XT60 to what appears to be a 5521 barrel plug here. In addition to that, we got a super sweet case for it. That's deluxe. Nice big storage compartment there. And then we've got uh, what appears to be a solar charge controller. Yep, it is a solar charge controller for 12 volt batteries. Uh, this is a 200 watt panel. Its VOC is 22.50. The IMP is 11.11. .11 amps. Short circuit current is 11.36 amps. And here on the uh, edge of the panel we've got uh, the leg and uh, it just uh, folds out and then yeah you can secure it uh, with that little wing nut right up there. There's not too much to see in the charge controller information except I do want to point out that it is able to charge lead acid as well as lithium iron phosphate. B4 is a profile for lithium iron phosphate. And note that this uh, charger is a PWM charge controller. It is not an MPPT. It is a bright, sunny, cloudless day. This is a perfect solar testing day. We're going to be doing a couple of tests with it first. I want to connect it up to a power station and uh, see how that performs. And then we'll check out its charge controller charging a battery and uh, see how that works too. But first we've got to set this up. Let's see how easy or hard it is. That wasn't too uh, hard at all. Uh, quite easy, actually, especially for rigid panels. I'm just going to cheat and use this box uh, to get an angle. So you can see that uh, the, the sun is still kind of towards the east there. You can see the shadow uh, getting significantly shorter. And we also need to boost it up just a little bit, uh, increase the angle because we're still kind of in winter months. So let's uh, let's see if we can increase that angle at all. All right, that is significantly better. Uh, you can see that it could actually go up a little higher. That is as tall as the stands uh, will go, but uh, you could put a little block or something under there to really maximize the angle. But for today, we're gonna call this good. Now, something that I am already digging about this panel that the other portable panels slash foldable panels don't have is one weight. This would be a lot harder to blow over in uh, with a strong wind. It could still blow over, but uh, it will be a lot more difficult. The other thing that's super nice are these stands. So many of the other panels, the folding portable panels that are out there, they have those Velcro-y feet to, that stick out and they're super hard because they're always wanting to fold in on you. This is super nice because it's screwed. You know, it was with this little wing nut, super easy to loosen and to adjust. But once you've tightened that down, these stay in place. And so to be able to do this, you pick it up, move it, set it back down and the legs stay in place is a huge, huge win. I love that. All right, let's see what kind of power we're getting from this. This could be good or bad, but uh, connected to that solar panel is an XT60. Great for if you have a power station like this that uses XT60. Not so great if you want MC4. Now it does have adapters uh, for that, but uh, natively attached to the solar panel, we do not have MC4. This power station is the EcoFlow Delta 2, and it likes the XT60i connector for high powered, solar things. So this may be throttled by um, that just being a normal XT60. Check it out. 179 watts from a 200 watt solar panel. That is not too shabby. Let's see if the uh, XT60i adapter makes any difference. Nice change of plans. I do not have any kind of XT60i adapter that will convert from normal XT60. So I'm going to swap this power station out for a different one that does not have the limitation that this Delta has. All right, got a new power station here. This is uh, an Anchor brand and it accepts XT60 beautifully without being fussy about XT60 versus XT60i. So let's see if there's any difference on this one. You can see the uh, solar panels in full sun still. Well, maybe uh, the EcoFlow is working. Um, I've still got it here. We can test it, but uh, notice right down there, 166 watts coming into this anchor power station. Let's switch it back to the EcoFlow and see if there's any difference. 
All right, well, even even without uh, the XT60i, the uh, EcoFlow wins the award, 177 watts. So that is all coming from that uh, Dokio folding solar panel. Very, very nice. All right, let's try this uh, solar charge controller and uh, see what we can do with that. So it's very easy. The solar panel connection here, battery connection here, and a load connection there. So we're going to use these two connections right here. So here is the solar panel connection. We'll connect that up first. It's only 12 volt uh, battery, and uh, we've got a 12 volt. Uh, this is a smart battery, so we'll actually be able to look up and see what the BMS is actually seeing in terms of uh, voltage. And then with the solar panel, we got to these nice battery clamps, and it's got XT60 on this other end. So we'll go ahead and plug that into this battery port. Okay, it is now reading 13.6 uh, volts, uh, which is pretty standard. And uh, let's see uh, what uh, the battery app is saying. All right, here is the battery app. Things we want to look at here is the current. We're pushing in 11.9 amps, and then this uh, number right here, 164.82 watts. I mean, for a super fast, quick setup, you know, something this tiny that uh, packs in the bag, uh, to be able to hook that up and uh, push in, you know, 160 whatever watts, that is great. So this, I can already tell, is going to be one of my favorite folding portable solar panels. Thankfully, I've got a lot of power stations and stuff that use the XC60, so that's less of an issue than MC4. However, in an ideal world, I would love to see Dokio use MC4 connectors on this. And then go ahead and provide a little dongle that goes MC4 to XC60 so you can still use their charge controller. But uh, MC4 would make this uh, just a little better, in my opinion. I can see that this won't have uh, run the risk of having a problem that I had with a previous folding portable panel. And uh, I'll insert a clip here so you can see that. This panel is only about three years old, been used very lightly, occasional camping trips, maybe been used five times camping. And uh, anyway, it's toast now. If you look at this right here, that is melted right there. And uh, if I flip it over here, you can see uh, the melt mark on this side as well. This panel uh, does not generate uh, any electricity anymore, and it is out of warranty, and it's incredibly expensive. As you saw, you know, that completely burned up, and there's no way to fix it. This is a lot more forgiving when it comes to that because there's no cords actually physically built into the solar panel going between the two panels. It's literally two 100 watt panels put together. And the thing that's connecting them is a physical cord right here. And the sweet thing about that is you could easily repair that uh, or even replace it uh, if it got damaged at all. A huge shadow, I love it. That is the rundown on this Dokio folding solar panel. Sound off down in the comments on what you guys think. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? I'd say the only con for me is it's definitely heavier than the flimsier folding solar panels, right? But I think you're going to get many, many more years of use out of it. And I would love to see MC4 connectors on it. But aside from that, it is a fantastic panel. It is definitely going at the top of my camping stuff collection. But like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All of you are so smart. I always say the smartest people are in my comments section. I do try to read and respond to all of them. Also, if you would uh, please consider giving the video a like and consider subscribing. 100% free to you, but benefits the channel tremendously. We've got a lot more exciting and fun content coming up, especially in the world of solar. Uh, you're going to see this uh, panel again because uh, I'm working on expanding my solar-powered air conditioning, and it's going to be pretty epic. You guys won't want to miss that.